Hey guys, it's Daphne and I'm finally back with another video. I haven't actually filmed a sit down video for quite a while now. I'm kind of taking a more relaxed approach to the whole YouTube channel thing because it is a hobby for me and we have a lot of other stuff going on in our life right now. All good things, but it just keeps me really busy. So happy summer. Summer is my favorite time of year. It always has been. And even in very hot Texas weather, I still love it. So today's video isn't actually going to be a Disney video. This is a haul video from our recent trip to Down East Maine and Boston. Some of you may have heard me talk about the fact that I am from Maine. I moved away when I was 23 years old, so I still have a lot of family there. I haven't been back in almost five years. Landon actually went up ahead of us. He left on May 1st and stayed with my father for about a month. And then we followed behind on May 28th and we were there for about two weeks. And then we drove down to Boston and spent a couple of nights there. So my hope is that I can put together just a single vlog of that entire main vacation. And I might also do a separate one for Boston since it was really our first time as a family exploring the city of Boston. Even though I haven't been posting a ton of content on our YouTube channel lately, I've been pretty active on our Instagram account. So if you like to follow our family, then I would recommend that you go follow us at Thomas Ever After on Instagram. I try to keep Insta stories updated pretty frequently, especially when we're doing anything special like trips and stuff. So there are some story highlights that I've saved from our trip and I'm still adding. But let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna show you all the things that I got on our recent vacation. Maine has a very rocky coast. It's a very beautiful state. I prefer it for about four months from about June to September, maybe into a little bit of October, but I definitely like to bypass those first couple weeks of June normally because of black fly season. Um, that didn't work out for me very well this time, but we still had a wonderful trip. We just didn't get to do a lot of hiking because the black flies were so bad and it was a little bit rainy while we were there as well. We did get down to Bar Harbor, which is one of the most popular tourist spots. I'm sure you're familiar with Bar Harbor or Bahaba. We didn't spend a whole lot of time in Bar Harbor, but we did go to Pirate's Cove Mini Golf, which is one of my favorite pastime activities. After we finished our round of mini golf, we went across the street to an ice cream shop called Utter Heaven. I think that's what it was called. Not only was the ice cream amazing, by the way, Maine ice cream is to die for, but outside of that shop, they had these really unique, I don't know what you'd really call these. They're, it's a hot air balloon, like wind spinner. Let me see, hold on. So this was the package that it came in. Actually, it was packaged flat, so I was able to bring it back um, in my luggage very easily, but it's a 22 inch hanging spinner, and it's by um, Wind garden and if i can find the link for this on amazon i will link it below i'm gonna hang it out on my balcony and it just kind of spins in the wind like so and i just thought it was really beautiful they had them hanging all around the outside of the store i'm not really sure i've put it together correctly i'll have bob look at it when he gets home but i did the best i could it's just really cute and i couldn't pass it up all right next i had a couple of gifts that were given to me by my mother she actually went to the christmas tree shop and she found a couple of coasters for me um, she knows that I'm a big fan of sea turtles, so she found these two coasters. There's like a giant sea turtle on this one and a bunch of little baby ones on this one. The other activity that we did while we were on vacation was we went to visit Fort Knox. And Fort Knox is actually a state park. I go there almost on every trip to Maine. I actually grew up going to Fort Knox because my grandfather used to be a park ranger there. This actually was built to uh, protect the harbor, the Penobscot Harbor, but they never actually had a battle there. But still, the fort itself is standing, and I believe it was built sometime in the 1800s, but it is so amazing to walk through, and it's a very inexpensive thing that you can do. While we were there, we actually bought a couple of things at the gift shop. Actually, my mother bought a couple of things from the gift shop for myself and the kids. So the first thing was actually this fox, and this was something that Adeline chose that she wanted to bring home with her from the Fort Knox gift shop. Landon actually didn't come with us that day because he was very busy helping my father get his sailboat ready so we could launch the boat that week. But we picked up for him this wild animal track shirt. And I believe this one also glows in the dark, uh, but it's just got an assortment of different animal tracks all over it. And down at the bottom it says Footprints of North American Mammals. So Landon really liked this t-shirt a lot. Emma and I both chose a balsam fur 
scented pillow. So these are actually filled with balsam fir. They just smell, they, there's no smell like balsam fir. It just smells amazing and it just brings a little piece of mane back home with you. So Emma chose this pillow with the loon on the front and the lilacs. And then the one that I chose was this little embroidered pillow that says mane on it and it has some blueberries there on the front which totally representative of Maine. My parents also got this Maine mousse mug for me which I just absolutely adore. It's a beautiful glazed pottery mug and it has this um, mousse on the front and it says Maine down at the bottom. <laughs> so thank you mom and Dave. You guys are always so generous to us and we really appreciate it. We miss you already. After we were at Fort Knox, we actually went over, I didn't buy anything there, I just wanna mention this. Uh, we actually went over to the tallest observatory in the world. It's a main bridge that was built connecting Prospect to Verona Island, which is near Bucksport, Maine. And there's a tall observatory there that you can actually take an elevator up to the top in. If you live out of state and you want to do both the observatory and the fort, then it's only $8 for adults and then it's $4 for kids five to 11. So it's a very inexpensive thing to do. Go see Fort Knox and go over and check out the observatory at the bridge. So another special thing that we got to do on this trip was travel down to Brooklyn, Maine, where we have a family cottage on the ocean and it's just so breathtaking there. I picked up a couple of things there. One was this magnet. So this is a magnet in the shape of an anchor and you've got like a main fishing boat in the back and a lighthouse in front. You've got the lobster traps and a buoy down at the bottom. And then it says Maine there across the side. So this was very beautiful, very representative of Maine for me. While we were down at our family camp, we had a get together on that Saturday that we were there. We did have a lobster that day and it was so delicious. I don't eat it unless I'm in Maine. So I always prefer to have it right on the coast in Maine. We buy it from a local lobsterman and we boil it right outside in a salt water um, from right from the ocean. So very special. That day there was a um, yard sale going on in that area right near the cottage. And I found this little vintage Donald Duck for Emma. So I had to pick it up naturally, but so this is the Disney item in this video. Um, it says Disneyland and Walt Disney World. So I haven't actually had a chance to look this up yet to see what year this Donald Duck was made, but it is an authentic um, Donald Duck from the Disney theme park. So if you know, if you know, please let me know in the comments what year this one was made. Um, Emma loves Donald Duck, so this one definitely had to come home with us. I mentioned earlier that I love to stop at small, unique little gift shops, and I stopped at one that was called the Candy Candy Factory, or maybe it was Brooklyn Candy Company. I think I picked up some Finnish uh, salted licorice and Finnish sugar licorice. I think that's what they were called. They've already been eaten. Um, but then I also bought some of these candies. I haven't opened these yet. I bought one for my mom that was a lavender flavor, and this one is actually anise. I think that's how you say it, which is, I think anise seed is actually like a um, licorice, right? Licorice flavor, I'm pretty sure. So this is from France, and it's a French mint. So here's another Disney item, guys. I also found this little wooden teaspoon. See the little white rabbit, and he's got his little pocket watch there. But I also bought some local tea, and this is a chai tea. It is called Chai Wallas of Maine, and it is an Assam black tea and spices. Um, and it says just to add milk and honey. There's instructions inside on how to make your chai tea. I, I'm a big tea drinker. I love tea, and I really like my chai teas. This is actually a postcard of my grandmother's house. This is my great grandmother's house. It's become a landmark. It is now kind of falling in. If you watch my Insta stories, then you saw us go to that house. We stopped in to take some photos there and look at it. It's been abandoned now for, well, my grandmother died in 1996. So it's really been abandoned since then, but I think we sold it in 98 or 99, I wanna say. See the old cars out there in the front? So she actually was the postmaster for many years, 35 years to be exact. And she ran the post office right here out of her house. And so that's why all these little cars here out front. It was just a really special thing to find this. I was just really happy to see my grandmother's house again with all of its life in it. 
um, and not abandoned like it is right now. Another really fun tourist spot to visit is a store in Belfast, Maine called Rennie's. Um, you can find a lot of gifts that actually say Maine on them and the prices are pretty reasonable. Landon, I got this hat for him and it says Maine across the front. You can see the moose there. And then with this hat, there was a t-shirt rolled up in it. And this is his t-shirt. You can see the moose there across the front. Again, it says Maine. Um, Adeline and I both chose a hat. So this is Addie's. She got this floral hat and it says Maine across the front with the established date of 1820. Then I also got a similar hat to hers. I got this blue kind of faded and uh, worn ball cap. Again, it says Maine. And then mine has um, a logo with a lighthouse up here. There it is. And then it says um, down at the bottom, it says vacation land, which I really like. So. So yes, I was very happy to have this. I actually got a lot of use out of it already on our trip. I wore it quite a bit, especially when we were in Boston and it was raining one day. This came in very handy. And then Emma chose this purple hoodie. It's a zip front hoodie um, sweatshirt. And again, it says Maine on the front. And then you have the little embroidered moose there as well. Oh, a couple more gifts I just wanted to share with you really quick. My grandmother has a friend that lives in England and she always sends her these little tiny um, thatched roof cottages. She always lets the girls pick one out. We have several of these now. They say Tetley Limited on the back. So I believe these are from the Tetley tea boxes. These are little collectibles that her friend Carol gives her. But this one is so cute. I didn't realize it until we got home. So if you look really closely, it says Maurice's Workshop on it. And you can see the little workbench out front. I'm not sure if this is actually supposed to be Belle's, you know, father's home or not, but we love our little touches of Disney and I thought that was a really neat little piece that one of the girls chose from my grandmother's collection. Okay, I also came home with bags and bags of shells and beach glass. I'm not gonna take it all out. We do have some um, quahog shells and mussel shells and tons of different sea glass in here. One thing that we really enjoy doing is finding the perfect perfectly ready sea glass. This is a beautiful light green piece of sea glass and the goal is, is that you want to make sure it's not really shiny anymore, that it's been rolled around in the sand for quite a while. And then a lot of people like to make jewelry out of the sea glass. I have different jars around my house that I keep the the main sea glass in. We stopped at one more gift shop in Maine. This was in Searsport, Maine and it's one of my most favorite gift shops of all time. Landon chose this stuffed Maine lobster. Emma picked out this thinking putty. I don't want to open it on her. She hasn't opened it yet. I think Adeline also has one of these as well, but just a little tiny jar of thinking putty. And then Adeline also got this Kickerland Fox toothbrush holder. So you just put your toothbrush in it and then it actually has a suction cup on the back. And so you can stick it to the mirror in the bathroom. So I have seen these also on Amazon. I will link that down below in case you're interested, but these are really cute and fun for the kids. They had a whole assortment of different animals there to choose from. And I found some things for myself and then I also got Bob a gift. So one of the things I got Bob, I'm just gonna insert a picture here because I've already given it to him. It was by the Dop Company and they make really unique leather wallets. I bought some of my favorite incense. This one is a cone incense and the scent is mint. It comes with a little tiny dish with it so you can burn the cone incense in it. Um, it just has a very mild minty smell. Um, and this was only $7.50 and I like that it has a little wooden box to store it in as well. I bought this a little tiny secret wooden box. They have tons of these at the Grasshopper Shop. They're all different sizes. This one has a painted hummingbird and a flower on the front. But they're a little secret box and then there's a little heart stamped on the back. And I actually got this to keep some medicines in to throw in my makeup bag. Um, but you just simply push the little lid on the top there and you can see I have my ibuprofen and Tylenol in there. It's just a very tight fitting lid so you can't actually see the seam in it very well. So a lot of people don't know how to open them. So anyway, just a fun little thing to find there um, if you like small little places to keep things. And then lastly, the girls bought me a gift. Behind my back, they got me these turtle earrings. They were little dangle earrings. You can see the little turtles on there. I've already worn these several times. 
They're very sweet girls to me. They always are thinking of other people, and so that was a really fun gift to get from the grasshopper shop. Okay, so that was everything from our trip to Maine. We had um, an amazing time in Maine. We really did. It was very relaxing, very enjoyable. We also got out on my dad's sailboat one day, and it was beautiful weather for that, and I just highly recommend if you have never taken a trip to Maine, go go to Maine, go up the coast, um, all of down east Maine, starting in Portland and working your way up towards Camden, Belfast, Searsport, up to Bar Harbor, that whole area is just gorgeous and lighthouses galore so if you like looking at lighthouses and that sort of thing um, you can take a trip up to Acadia National Park or Mount Katahdin and do some hiking as well or some great hiking trails so then on our way home I mentioned that we stopped in Boston and we spent two nights in Boston we rented an Airbnb on Revere Beach it was beautiful the place that we stayed at was amazing and our host was very friendly probably the best host I've ever had for an Airbnb or VRBO type of situation. So we actually checked out part of the Freedom Trail in Boston. That's mostly what we spent our time doing. We started out in the Boston Common and we went over to the, what is it called? The Park Garden, I think it's called, um, where the ducks are. You can see the ducks from Make Way for Ducklings. It was just uh, so much fun. And then the next day it actually rained all day. So we weren't able to do as much as we were intending to do. We did know that it was going to rain though. So we had a backup plan and our plan was to go see the USS Constitution ship, which is in the shipyard. And the, I think it's called the Charlestown Shipyard. And then we also went to the museum there. The ship was free and the museum was actually a donation based only. And they give you like a suggested amount that you should donate per person or per family, but it was, very worth checking out. We loved it. They had a really nice gift shop at the information center. And so the first thing that I want to show you is this Boston Tea Party tea. And it's um, Heisen, I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly, Heisen Green Tea. And there's a really fun little story on the back about the Boston Tea Party and when they threw all of the tea into the harbor. Um, and that one of the 342 chests of several types of tea, which include Bohia, Congo, so Saoshong, and Heisen. So this is one of those types of teas that was in those chests. So that's why they call it the Boston Tea Party Tea. I also bought a guide to the Freedom Trail. We didn't end up using this again because it was raining and I didn't want to have it opened outside and ruin the book, but it has a map on the inside of it with the red Freedom Trail lines you can kind of find your way to the 16 different historic sites. And then it goes through each of those historic sites in full detail. So you know um, the, the history behind it. My sister, I believe, uh, bought this cartridge candy for the kids to share. I think this was from her. In each little package, there's a gumball at one end and there's a fruit powder. And you're supposed to untwist it and like pour it in your mouth. I'm reading the back. So anyway. That's how I don't really know anything about it. We haven't tried it yet, but this was something that she picked up for the kids to try. I also found this little pouch and it has the USS Constitution ship on one side and it also has the USS Cassine Young. Again, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but it's one of the other ships there that you can tour. We didn't go on this one. We just did the USS Constitution. But um, I did share a picture on Instagram. We found a hidden Mickey inside the USS Constitution because they just removed one of the cannons that was in the window on the second deck. And um, so that was kind of neat. To, we're always looking for Disney related things while we're on vacation. But I just thought this was a fun little pouch to keep things in. Um, you know, when I go to the bank with checks and cash and stuff like that, I thought it was coming really handy. Landon did a pressed penny and this is of the bridge. It's called the Zakim Bridge in Boston, but it's a beautiful, it looks like a newer bridge. I'm not sure how new it is, but that's his press penny that he found or that he did while we were in the museum. Emma picked up a postcard of Boston and then Landon also grabbed a few postcards. This one is a Navy ship on the front. There's also a recipe postcard for Boston boiled lobster. And then he also got one of the USS Constitution ship. I also got two more magnets. My mom actually picked this one out for me. I mentioned that we'd gone to see these ducks. They are the ducks from Make Way for Ducklings. And then she also picked up this other magnet, kind of a, a raised magnet, if you will. 
um, with all the landmarks written around. We did also do a tour on our last day there. Just, just the kids and I, my other family had gone back home and we went to the old state house. Um, we visited Faneuil Hall and we went to Quincy Market and then we went across the street down the street and across the street to the old state house and we did one of their tours i think we did the boston massacre tour and then we toured the inside of the state house as well so when you do the tour they give you one of these little cards with the historical character on it and then a description about that person so i believe i was isaiah thomas i think that was my card right there actually which was funny that um, they gave me one with the same last name as me. <laughs> At the Old State House, I bought one last item for myself. I've always wanted one of these Oriental fans, and so I picked one of these up. It was only, I think, five dollars. Yeah, five bucks. And I just thought it was really pretty, and it was kind of hot that day. So I thought this would be a nice thing to have on hand. Landon picked this up, and it's just an old, old-fashioned music box. Can you just turn it? And it plays Yankee Doodle. So that was one of Landon's things that he picked up for himself at the USS Constitution Museum. And he also bought a little naval cannon. Landon loves little tiny collectibles. This is actually a pretty heavy little cannon. The cannon uh, barrel actually goes up and down here and it has little tiny wheels on it as well. And last but not least, this is Landon's ship in a bottle. So this is the USS Constitution ship. It's a model of that ship and it's inside this bottle, which is super cool. If you've never watched how they put these ships inside of a bottle, check it out on YouTube. It's really interesting uh, how they fit them inside of the bottle. But um, so that was the last item that we got. Landon's room is very nautical themed. So he was happy to add this to his collection. He loved that museum. It was very, very interactive, definitely kid friendly, um, even teenager friendly. And that's everything. I know this was a different kind of video than I normally post on this channel but we would like to start sharing other content besides just Disney, um, just because we aren't always at Disney. I still have tons and tons and tons of Disney content that is all backed up that I wanna still share, including our vlogs. We have our May trip vlogs, which I'd like to get back to posting, as well as our month long trip from October to November. But this was a different vacation and I just thought I would share it with you and I hope you enjoyed it. We really appreciate you very much. So everyone have a great day and have a happy summer. Bye.